Ever wish you could just flip a switch and not have to deal with gravity? Just kind of float around and move heavy objects like you had superpowers, swim instead of run? Gravity is not a force in the traditional way Newton thought of force, but the result of the geometry of space itself. Accordingly, if general relativity is accepted, anti-gravity would be unlikely or impossible. Anti-gravity here in the Earth's atmosphere can be simulated artificially. Countering a force with an opposing force like helium inside a lovely red balloon is also an anti-example of anti-gravity. Instead, anti-gravity requires that the fundamental causes of the force of gravity be made either not present or not applicable to the place or object through some kind of technological intervention. As it turns out, the go-fast jetpack is not a much cooler method of anti-gravity than the Martin jetpack that made news recently in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Although the GoFast jetpacks retail for $200,000 at twice the price of the Martin, the GoFast also has been seen traveling well above twice the height and distance of the Martin and without the need for two people to steady the sides as if the situation was nearly in crisis mode. Those organ donor machines use thrust to move through our gravitational air, but still, this has nothing to do with anti-gravity. The anti-gravity lifter has received attention from NASA to Honda to even the Mythbusters. Harnessing the Byfield-Brown effect, the small toy-like craft can reliably levitate with no moving parts once high voltage is sent through its thin copper wires. According to a paper by Takaki Musher on realistic near-term advanced scientific space missions, the dynamical Byfield-Brown effect cannot be explained within the framework of the conventional physics, with the exception of thrust, apparently. Hacker Gary McKinnon, who was arrested by the UK's National High Tech Crime Unit in 2002, says he found documents in secret compartments of the government revealing the use of reverse-engineered anti-gravity. Not sure if you caught that, but he said the government got the technology from aliens that arrived in UFOs. Particle physicist and ex-keyboard player for the band D-Ream, Brian Cox, got all metaphysical when articulating anti-gravity in terms of the seventh and eighth dimensions to name but a few. Cox explains that gravity could consist of particles which do not stick very well to our lower three or four dimensions and that levitation due to the absence of gravity would need a way to push the theoretical gravitons out into higher dimensions. Now if only I could find my graviton extracting spoon in the sixth dimension, I might even one day truly find myself in a negative mass. Both general relativity and Newtonian gravity predict negative mass with a repulsive gravitational field. The force is proportional to the product of the two masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the point masses. But particle physics, which best describes all presently known forms of matter, does not permit negative mass. To put it more bluntly, when asked if anti-gravity is possible, Dr. Sten Odenwald from NASA asked around and found that no one really thinks so. While cool in theory, anti-gravity remains to be seen.